Welcome to episode 6 of Bastion. We're gonna keep plinking away at this. Yep, keep on with the keeping on. We're gonna try to uncover the mystery of the calamity. We'll eventually figure out what the heck it was. Got a new level. Yep. Let's head out. Oh, we never picked up the reward for the bow vigil. The what? The reward for the bow vigil. The lengths that oh, yeah, float right. free and wild. Whoops. Till the calamity drank it all up. What's that? Oh. Uh -huh. Maybe all Aboard. that water just grew wings and flew off. Oh, nice. Free money? God, I could use some free money. Yeah, same here. Oh, rip free money. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. Luckily, I don't treat this like my career. God help us if we try to do that. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Fairy barge. Yeah, Even see? Nilly. Nice. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. See her face on the side? Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Oh, nice. Fairy or barge. maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Damn. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Nelly ain't no windbag. Nelly's a nice she lady. She's a fine young woman. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. The kid. Calamity Jake. Calamity Jake. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. Everything's going well. So far, yeah. You're on a pleasant pleasure cruise. They try to slow her down. Kid's too good of an archer for that. They try to knock her out. Ooh, ooh careful. You can only be so careful, Steve. Gotta take some risks sometimes. Well, Nelly tries harder. Boards. Try she might that throw. bird. She hits a snag. Pew pew. Yeah, it looks like a snag to me. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Yeah, it's quite a snag. Practicing your shield moves? Hopefully. I'd like to be. I'm not very good at my shield moves, though. You're getting better. At least she picked a good spot for a break. Because the core is right there. Nice. I don't really need the arsenal. Nah. My setup's pretty alright. It's it's doing work. Or at least I like it. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. Oh bird. They've been watching his every move. Time for a duck hunt! They had their own eyes on the core. But why? You should try to mass well, up a bunch ain't got for a shotgun time to think it over just yet. Oh, I'm a little late now. I know. It would have been smart though. I could have gotten that other sigil. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine.
Divers. Finds weeping Nelly raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Huh. You made a friend. Two friends. Who wants fried chicken? She's gonna need a little help Yum. with all them peckers. Gross. Hey, game. Crafty this isn't that kind of game. Of the no. Oh, of course, birds assume the they rule the world just because like the world is now in the sky. Is that the calamity? Everything went to the sky? Jake, look below you. Like, there's a reason you fall off the world. And everyone was somehow petrified by the fact that everything went to the sky? Look, dude, I... This is not my job to explain this to you. I'm not sure I could do an adequate job if I tried. <laughs> okay. Encouraging. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Now we've got a regular boat party. Yay, boat party! The windbags get an even better idea. They aim to smash Weeping Nelly to splinters. No. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Rest in peace, little Nelly. We were on a boat, man. It's going fast, and She's just got to make one last stop. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. We had a boat, motherfuckers. Solid we'll never let you forget. Country. They want that core real bad. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the pecker's appetites. I think you need support. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Never mind. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? All of them? Not even once. <laughs> nice. Can you do something with that hole in the ground? Now, nah, listen close. You should remember this next part. Okay. Now harboring a superiority complex. <laughs> Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. Well, you solved that fight. <laughs> Who wins? Double hey. KO! Killing spree. Lower path? I think there's another. Is there? No, I guess not. Oh well, other path it is. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. I think you opened the door. Why is it so... Oh, but it's on not the blood, other it's hand, feathers. Some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. Careful. It's toxic. Gross. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? There the kid is something he ain't say. heard in a long while. How's it go again?
Yeah, that's the one. Damn. Freaking birds. Freaking boards. Follow the music, Jake. This has a very Ocarina of Time feel to it. Except there weren't too many voices in that game. True, no. If you don't count grunts and screams, there were probably zero. Yeah, actually, that sounds about right. Nintendo games have never been ones for much voice acting. Yeah. Though, let us never forget Star Fox. Oh, Star Fox. Good game. Use the boost to get through, Jake. Do a barrel roll? Do a barrel roll! <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to help Slippy. You need to get that guy off him. Uh, I really need to go back and play Star Fox 64. That was supposed to be the best one, right? It is the Star Fox. It's the Star Fox that matters. Like, Assault was okay, the SNES was o was pretty good, like... The others were give or take. You are getting murked. I was getting murked by that bird. Was it worth it, Jake? I, I guess? I, yeah. You've got more health than you had before you fell to your death. Was it worth it, Jake? Tower shot. You know they've got Star Fox 64 3D, right? Yeah, I heard about that. I was kind of excited for that. I wish I had a copy, but, you know. Hey, man. Just ain't enough money to buy everything. I know. I wish I had enough money to buy everything. That'd be awesome. One day I'll get a Where would you get all the time, though? Unless you started buying time. That'd be pretty intense. I think there's something back here. Sure there is. Yeah, a door. door. Whoops. Shows how much I'm paying attention. Quite a bit, actually. Another door? Oh, okay. Freaking birds. That bird had lasers! It's my kind of bird. What's at the bottom of that ramp? I'd like to kill those birds. They're assholes. Looks like there's treasure. I like treasure. Me too, Jake. It's the only thing that keeps me getting up in the morning. <laughs> treasure. The pursuit of treasure. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of treasure. Those first two things are pretty good, too. <laughs> they're alright. But they're no treasure. Too bad recording handhelds is so very complicated, or Star Fox 3D would be a lot of fun. Yeah. You should go down that little path. What little path? Was there something down there? Or is that where you came from? I think that's where I... Oh, never mind. Ow, ow. Come on. Jake, this isn't working so great. Like, the fact that they're flanking you is kind of ruining your shield. <laughs> I want it to work. They have combat advantage, Jake. 
This isn't D&D &D anymore, Steve. It was always D&D. &D. That's the secret. Every video game is D&D. &D. From a well, different perspective. no point explaining uh. what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. They'll be here before too long. Huh. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. Wow. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Well. Wow. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Weird. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Hmm. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Weird. Mysteries upon mysteries, Jake. God, you're not kidding. Ready to plant that core? Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. If you haven't figured out yet, Rux is telling the story to someone. Yeah. Behold, the Pantheon. A copy. Goddess of Oath and Abandon. Foes shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. No one bound the chastened maiden save for herself. Her shackles are her own design. Huh. All the gods seem to be contradictory. Commotion and order. Yeah. Oath and abandon. I see that. Interesting. The breakers. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. They were entrusted to deliver important tidings whose recipients never had to wait long. Nice. And they're all gone now. Welcome to this universe. So, Jake. Yeah? Are you gonna go to activate anything at the shrine? Not right now. Buy anything at the Lost and Found? I may buy something at the Lost and Found. Couple of, couple of gods you can buy. Goddess of Pain and Pleasure, foes shall strike with greater ferocity. And God of Health and Atrophy, foes shall gain resilience to physical harm. Hmm. I'd kind of like to buy some more of these. Mm. I think you should buy that counter distill uh, spirit. Oh, yeah, I for should. For the challenge. Finders, keepers. And maybe stab synth for next level. All right. I just love stab synth, man. <laughs> That's okay. It's green and it gets you crunked pretty good. 
upgrade or not. The marshals learn to pack those shells full of fire. All right. I'm ready for that challenge now, huh? Born ready. I think Let's I might take another crack at the shotgun challenge and then. We track the final right. core beyond the city to the wilds. And then maybe we'll call this episode. Alright. Sounds good to me. Because that was a longer level than most. Kid takes a little yep. personal time for just him and his favorite musket. Plenty of gores to go around, even now. Gotta be closer to give him full knockback. I can do this. Not in, probably not in this one, but... Well, you're learning. I'll figure it out. You're getting used to handling your weapon. Marshals like to fine-tune their muskets to get better results. Fifteen right. ain't bad. The best of the best to clear the course in just a few what? shots. There you go, man. You got it in just enough. Scrap salvo. Scrap I remember salvo. that being a nice special ability. You might want to actually look at what you've got for special abilities now. Alright, I'll go check it out. And then we can call it. Because as much as I like the squirt lure, there's a lot of fun ones in there. I'll give it a shot. Kid probably could have made himself marshal one day. Hand grenade's kind of lame. Trip mine's kind of lame, but these are kind of interesting. You had whirlwind. Stunning wallop we <laughs> got from the hammer challenge. Yep. Stuns any foe you hit. Scrap Salvo is nice, though. I remember that one. I'm going to give Scrap Salvo a try for a little bit. A relentless series of blasts that overcompensates for the musket's rate of fire. Hmm. Okay. It's basically a quick, like, multiple shot. Sticking with shotgun and bow, I'm going to mix it up. I may mix it up. I like the Fang Repeater quite a bit, but I do like the Scrap Shotgun quite a bit, too. Okay. Why not? You can go Shotgun and Repeater. It doesn't hurt having a couple of trusty old guns on hand. Alright, nice. Okay. Alright. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Bastion. Yep. See you next time.